Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Oxford United. We are back today. We are still top of the league as we come towards the end of the season. As I say, still top of the league. However, it is very tight at the top. Just before we go into a little recap, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please do leave a like down below. Comment what you think we can achieve this season. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content on the channel. Since you were last with us, which I believe was way back when we played West Ham United under 21s we then had a 1-1 draw with lincoln city a 1-1 draw with wigan both not bad results considering their positions in the league 2-0 win against sutton united 2-0 win against exeter 3-1 win against shrewsbury followed by a 2-1 win against portsmouth who were up there in the battle i believe a 3-0 loss to bolton which was a big shame they're obviously the team that have been battling for top spot for us all season so to lose 3-0 was damaging but we got a draw afterwards, 2-2 with Sheffield Wednesday, 0-0 with Bradford City and a 2-0 win most recently against Burton Albion, which means today we have Peterborough who are currently sat in 11th and Barnsley who are currently sat in 10th. We are currently top of the league, joint on points with Blackpool. We're leading them by two goals in the goal difference category. However, two points behind is Wigan. Three points behind is Bolton, four points behind is Lincoln, and then a little bit further back, eight points behind is Fleetwood. You would expect that it's kind of a battle between that top five rather than Fleetwood and Charlton being involved. Out of that group of teams that we've got left to play, only Fleetwood are a team that we have to play. So you would think we've got a good chance of ending the season strong. And we're going to try and start off today's episode with a strong start, we've got Lewis in goal, a back four of Long, Moore, Fredrickson and Huggins. Brannigan as the holding midfield with Davis and James in front of him. Idaho and McNeely on the wings and Harrett up front. There's a few players just a little bit tired, so we're resting them for the Barnsley game. A highlight straight from the kickoff, which is always nerve-wracking. Pollock sends the ball forward and Lewis easily comes out to catch it. Throws it out to Huggins at left back. And he plays it back inside to Fredrickson. Long ball forward goes over the top of Kent. Harrett is in behind. And that's a pretty mediocre shot in the end. And easy for the keeper. Gillespie has got the ball in the Peterborough area. Long ball forward. And Moore wins the header. Idaho collects it. Obviously, Idaho came back from a broken ankle. Immediately, somebody else broke their ankle. And Peterborough won that up. That was... Not part of our plan. Yes, that was his first goal ever. Yeah, yes, it was. Brannigan with the corner from the right-hand side sends it to the near post. It's headed away by Pollock, but McNeely knocks it back down to Brannigan on the wing. Needs to get a cross in and delays it so long that he doesn't manage to do so. That, that was just... There was just no need to lose the ball there. Long collects the ball, sends it back forward, but it's all the way through to the keeper. And disappointment from the corner. Gillespie then sends it long. We stay in the highlight surprisingly. Long wins the header. However, loses it just after. And Galvin goes back to Kent. Long ball forward. Fredrickson wins the header. But Brannigan can't win the next one. Ball through to Akpump. Fredrickson's made it so easy for him. 2-0. And what's worse than us being 2-0 down is we deserve to be 2-0 down. We have been absolutely dominated in that first half. We're having like all this possession, but not doing anything with it. So we're going to have to start shooting on site and hopefully create something by that. Goal kick for Peterborough, long ball forward towards Akpon, who for some reason, Long was the one that challenged for that, despite him being our right back. But we've dealt with it at the minute. Moore plays it back to Lewis in goal. And he is eventually going to play it out to left back for Huggins. So... Looking very likely that we have a disappointing result today and we can't afford much more in the way of disappointing results if we want these automatic promotion spots. James, into Harris, we've got one back. Maybe it won't be a disappointing day just yet. We're going to bring Coventry on for Davis in midfield just for a bit of a better player, if we're being honest. And I think we'll bring Devoy on for James as well for exactly the same reason. However, just before that sub gets made... Idaho tries to find a ball through to Harrod, doesn't manage to do so. Fredrickson heads it down to Davis and lays it off to Brannigan out to the left wing for McNeely. James, through ball to Harrod, one-on-one with the keeper. We get our equaliser. James, just before he comes off, gets
get to a very important assist back on level terms. And now we're going to bring Perrick on for Idaho. We are now chasing an unexpected winner. Finley's going to come on at centre back for Fredrickson as well. We've got a late corner. Brannigan sends it in to the far post. Finley's hit the par. Hit the par? Hit the bar. And Gillespie's eventually managed to gather it. And we so nearly nick the win late on. The first half did us in. Like, if we played like we did in the second half the whole game, we'd be absolutely fine. However, we didn't. And Blackpool have won their game, which means they now go top of the league by two points ahead of Wigan after a win against Grimsby. Wigan picked up a win against Exeter. However, Lincoln only drew with Northampton. Bolton lost to Fleetwood, which, after what I said at the start of the episode, brings Fleetwood right back into the conversation. And for the game against Barnsley, we've got Lewis in goal, a back four of Long, Fredrickson, Finley and Williams. Coventry is the holding midfield with Bakinson and Devoy in front. Idaho on the right, Murphy on the left and Harrett up front. We've got McNeely on the bench because both of them are a little bit tired. So we've got the option to swap them during the second half. The first highlight just over half an hour into the game. And it starts with a Oxford goal kick. Finley plays it out to Williams at left back. So far, the game's been pretty even. I think Barnsley had a good first few minutes. And after that, we've kind of settled into the game and took a bit more control. Devoy plays it back to Finley and then back to Lewis. Of course, you've seen the formation Barnsley are playing. It's like a five... Two but the holding midfielders and then three up front like an attacking midfielder and two strikers so it is very much a sit back and endure the pressure and it makes them very hard to break down for the most part however Williams has found Harrit in behind goes for the lob and hits the bar what a goal that would have been half time it's nil nil and not a lot to really say on that first half it was pretty boring we've got 20 minutes to go or just over so we're going to bring McNeely on up front and we'll bring Brannigan on in place of Devoy and Bakinson will become the Mazala with Brannigan moving to the ball winning midfielder. I don't know how we're going to break this team down if I'm being honest. Throw in for Barnsley starting a highlight here Kane knocks it to Williams and he gets past Murphy. Can he get a crossing back to Kane? And then Williams gets the ball in and a fantastic block from Fredrickson. He goes out for a corner though. So still danger here for Barnsley. It's going to be sent in by Connell, who's come off the bench. A playmaker for them potentially. Ball comes in, it's headed away nice and easy. We're going to bring Davies on for Bakinson. And a disappointing episode with two draws. First one, obviously... Not a bad result considering how the first half went. The second one, pretty disappointing. However, as we did that, Blackpool only managed to draw with Exeter, who were 23rd. So you would have expected them to pick up a win there. Charlton picked up a 2-0 win, but they're outside the playoffs at the moment. Bolton picked up a 1-0 win, putting them back to two points behind us. And then where have we got Wigan draw 1-1 with Portsmouth, which means they say level on points with ourselves. And Lincoln picked up a 4-1 win against Sutton, bouncing back from their previous result, which means they are two points behind us. It is very tight in that battle for the top two spots. We will be back with the final two games of the season, Fleetwood and Grimsby. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Let me know what position you think we're going to finish. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.